My company is called Equiscan. We are an equine infrared thermography company. We use highly sensitive infrared cameras to find and assess injuries in horses. I worked as an equine sports therapist for years and got involved with the camera because I just knew it would be an excellent addition to our practice. And now who's this? The first sign of an injury in a horse is usually heat or inflammation. What we do is we take a picture of the horse and it comes up in a heat gradient. So we're able to find injured areas of the horse. The thermography portion of our business generates about 20000 a year in revenue. So it's a good fit with lots of potential. But maybe working with your fairy that we would be able to alleviate a little bit of that? Right now, the way our business works is that the client brings the horse to us or we go to their place for an evaluation. Okay, so what we're going to do... I assess the horse visually, talk with the client about the history of the horse and what had happened, allowing the horse's temperature to equilibrate the atmosphere. I then do a scan of the complete horse and develop a treatment plan depending on the injury and the owner's preference. We just get him to step back. The great aspect of our business for a client is that we're cost effective, so they're able to come in and get an assessment of their horse as a whole for a cost of $75. Right here, the heat pattern of a spur. What we found with the camera in the hind left hawk, that there's a hot spot, localized hot spot, which usually shows as a bone spur. So what we have advised him to do is to go get an x-ray and that we'll proceed from there just to ensure that. Originally, the infrared cameras were used to detect heat losses on roofs and buildings. What we found by adapting the equipment to the industry itself, we had to change the calibration of the cameras to really zone in and see the minimal temperature differences. You know, scanning a horse that we knew had been injured, and it worked excellent. When I started Equiscan, I paid $13,500 for the camera. I also set up a distribution agreement with the U.S.-based manufacturer. I intended to sell the cameras to veterinarians and practitioners like us. I didn't realize how skeptical others would be. The camera was a large cost that needed to be proven. We had to do a lot of research and create an excellent track record for the product. Now I've learned that if you're going to market a new technology, it definitely takes time to gain acceptance. But I see the camera distribution as a real growth potential, along with the consulting work I can do to educate the users. My goal is to develop Equiscan's camera sales by educating and training vets and practitioners on how to use the camera and evaluate the images. I plan to incorporate my knowledge of thermography and assessing into an educational CD-ROM. I'm also looking at renting cameras to practitioners. This is a cost-effective way to provide access to the technology and increase its use. How the therapy aspect of the business came about was when we were doing the scans and interpreting the information, we found that the people were looking for, you know, what can we do now? So we moved into the therapy aspect of the rehabilitation, the essential oils, the nutraceuticals, so we could come in and assess an injury and then help them with the healing of it. We use the essential oils because they're fast acting. Peppermint is excellent for the muscles. And when I'm doing a massage on the horse, I really like to use the peppermint because it loosens the muscles up, as well when I'm working on the nerves in the back. We sell the formulas that we have researched and tested the effectiveness of. We call one the Equizone, that would be a joint formula. We have a muscle formula that we manufacture that the people can buy from us. Generally, the program includes most or all aspects of our service, and the rehabilitation program can be done by the owner if they choose. <laughs> Being a mom has definitely slowed the company's growth. I balance the business with my home life by knowing my limits, structuring my time, self-discipline, setting up certain hours for work, setting up certain hours for family. With all three kids in school now, I intend to devote a lot more time to business. And then let's go up the hill, why? Come with mom. Now with an educational approach to product sales and a great track record of research behind us, we're in a good position to market our product.